That's Queen oh. Latifah right there. Come oh on. Oh, my God. Who's better than me? Come on. Hey. Who's crew? Who in the world is better than you? You are the best. You're my favorite. I want to get into this and talk about you for the next 10 minutes. Uh, I want to talk <laughs> the Grammys. A tribute to hip hop, 50 years of hip hop, you crushed it. Oh, you thank were you. unbelievable. <laughs> Came out thank smoking you. everything. It, it, did, you, did you feel the vibe? Did you see you... me smoking? No, no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, I, just, okay, I just okay. saw smoke come I'm out just... when you came out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just... Did uh, did you feel the vibe when you were when you were performing? Could you see what I, we saw at home? I feel like I've been seeing them for days after <laughs> days after they days. They did a great job. Thank the roots. God, Good who else job. could pull off that? But Nobody. the roots too. Nobody's quest. Oh my God, Tariq. I, I don't know who else could pull that off. Um, it was amazing. It people was people were dancing and going nuts. You kind of opened up the party. People, it was awesome. I was like, people went off, and I heard they brought out champagne after we, you know, after we, the hip hop. Is segment. that right? So, so it's definitely you know cracking in that audience. Yeah, everything really, really got that. More, just they got the party be. going. Yeah. Um, what was it like to be on stage with all these? Look it at was the, so crazy. Oh my just gosh. Generations. And I mean, you got L, you got Public Enemy. You know. Um, there's so many people on this stage who, without them, I would not be here. Like, just Melly Mel, the, the uh, Grandmaster Flash, the Furious Five, like, yeah. you know, don't push me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do, come on, do, now. Do, 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 do. Like, everybody knows that record. And I remember being, like, 15 in Latin quarters watching Melly Mel on the stage rhyming for 20 minutes straight. And then KRS-One trying to get the mic from him. And, like, this is hip-hop wow. history. Like, I wouldn't know anything if Public Enemy didn't take me out on tour. Like, I was a baby act on their tour. How old were you when you were on tour? I was, like, 17, 18 years old. I had, like, and one record out, maybe. What you were know they what like? I mean? What were they... What they were, they? like, uncles. Honestly, um, some people are selfish in this business, as we know. They were not that. They, were, they wanted to share the information teach us because they know we didn't know anything yeah. you know so instead of like you know keeping it all to themselves they showed us how to move and shake on the road how to kind of prepare ourselves where to be on a stage how to use the hold the mics and and, and um how to deal do business with the promoters because that's always tricky um and really like helped us to learn so that we could grow and start our own businesses because we're all little tiny businesses, yeah. you know, at the time. Who was, who, who said to you this? It's something like, I remember when you had a drum set. Oh, that was Method Man, yo. Give up, give it up for everybody that was on the stage <laughs> that night. Like, no, it was everybody. insane. It was insane. It didn't stop. Yo. And to watch everybody right now, like going into all these careers from rap, from one rap record to you know, actors and nominated and all this and, and talk shows. And this is just amazing, you know, how hip hop has just become global, um, which we always knew it would be, but the world, they fought us, you know, they wanted yeah. to censor us. I mean, we had to go to court not to be censored. Thanks, Luke. Um, yeah, all right. Um, I see told me how to move and shake in LA, you know, when it was very, very ganged up, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't know anything. Get behind this wall real quick. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you like, nothing. But um, did you think that it wasn't But it was, it was Method gonna... Man. Method remembers every, everything. He was like, I remember seeing you at Madison Square Garden. You was opening up for Public Enemy, matter of fact. And you had a drummer. And nobody else had a drummer. And I was like, yeah, I had a drummer. You, you know? You wanted that live I element? wanted that vibe. I wanted to add on to it. And nobody was doing it. And then Fu I took the Fugees out on their first tour. Fuji's went way beyond a drummer. Like, the Fuji's was like, okay, we can do that? Watch this. And they really went crazy. So, like, we all have, have shared things with each other that have taken this, this hip-hop thing to a whole, whole new level. level. Did it remind you of when you won a uh, Grammy? Well, unfortunately, I wasn't there when I won my Grammy. We weren't even televised at the time. No. So I won my first Grammy for UNITY, first uh, rap female solo performance. I mean, come on, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> that was so crazy. But even then... They didn't tell them I No, so even that, it shows you how the Grammys have evolved because rap was not even a televised category. Can you imagine? Wow. Like, it wasn't even... No, no, none of it was even on TV. It was like, is this a fad? Is this real? Should we make it a category? Like, we were fighting to become a category. Wow. So we are way beyond the category now, and you can see hip-hop has influenced all sorts of music, not just, 
you yeah. know, rap or R&B, but it's all in pop music. It's all in country music. It's everywhere now. Yeah, you know what I thought was fun, too? Jay-Z, uh, he obviously could have gotten on stage. Yeah, he could have rapped. He was having so much fun in that crazy. Did he, you see him? He was like a little kid. He was like, oh, my God. I was like, <laughs> yeah. you never get to see him like that because he's always just being cool or, or whatever. He was... It, like fanboying out. Yes. And I love seeing that. It was like, it just made you so happy. You're like, oh, he's doing what we're oh, all yeah, doing. Yeah, we laughed at that afterwards. Like, yo, he was like, remember us in Mars, these little clubs? He was thinking about all, because we, I mean, none of us had, we come from like nothing, you know yeah. what I mean? And then we great? got this music that has taken us everywhere. So I think he was seeing his favorites out there too, and it just was like so much fun. Uh, and I'll... LL, of course. Thanks, L, for just like, he's, come on. I think L, I... L might have had all of us in a headlock. He was like, right. this thing ain't happening without me. Yeah. Tell you something. Really? That's Don't right. call it a cookie. Come back. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, man. When Rock the I Bells dropped, I was like, let the beat drop. Yeah. I was going crazy. Hell, come you on. see that radio? He, yeah. That blinged out radio? It I want that radio. Blinged out. By the way, I want that radio, too. I want that radio. All right. I can't front. We'll I share it. We'll share it. Uh, I, I quickly want to mention this. Uh, you have a new uh, Audible original here. This is amazing. Unity in the community. Yes. Uh, I love that you did this. Uh, how do you explain that? This, it's, it's seven episodes? It's a seven-part series. It's seven episodes. Uh, it's an Audible original. I am narrating it. You will hear me be the voice of Unity. Let me hold on to that for a second. Yeah. That's just so nice. Look, that's so nice. Look at look at that. Look at that. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> you know? The you colors, the joy, the you feel just the Come on, you know you just feel the love. Yeah. But you know what? This is the, this tells seven stories of different people who saw something that needed to change and decided that they were going to be that change. So whether it was deciding that okay, I, I know how to cook. I have a restaurant and people are hungry and it's COVID. I'm going to feed people, and they did that. Or um, whether it's someone who is of Japanese descent and is trying to preserve little Tokyo um, yeah. and its history, she did that. You know, uh, whether it's someone native who is, is trying to preserve a park in Chicago um, and, that, and that culture, they did that. It's inspiring. Um, it's, it's, so, it's all these inspiring stories. And I got to tell you, just reading it myself, I was so inspired listening to it, reading it, hearing their stories, um, that I think you're going to love this. So it's out right now. Check it out on Audible. And please just... Yeah. I, especially if you, you know, if you're feeling good, cool. But if you're not feeling good and you want to feel good, listen to that. Unity in the community yeah. right there. We are the community. U-N-I-T-Y. -U That's how you Nutty. Uh, I want to tell I want to tell you about the equalizer. <laughs> Come on. Okay, Let's so talk now about we this. switch from unity to you don't want it with me. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. All now right. we switched it over. Who you calling uh, a what? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Now, okay, now we switch. Equalizer. To, to dad's dad's crushing. Da crushing. Daddy says hi, by the way. Pop's pop. He's the yeah, you know, pop says hi. I love him so much. Loves Please give him know. a hug. I sure. Uh, uh, Equalizer, the biggest show ever. I knew when it came out. I knew it was going to be big, and I'm like, you just keep crushing and crushing. But it is back, February 19th, next Sunday. Yes. It is back. It is back. And it's big. It's action. It is funny. It is. It's cool. Dude, you do Please everything. Please tell them again is back so they can it stop hollering at me. It's finally back. It is the back. The Equalizer is back. Stop asking. Don't call me. February 19th. Don't me. Don't text me. Sunday night. Sunday CBS. night. CBS. 8 yeah. o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. Watch that. Listen. Uh, do you? I, it'll be there. Is it? Is you no, people are stopping me in the streets about this. This is serious. They're like, when is it coming They're back? They're like, where's the show? And what's going on? And what's all this? Yeah. We will be back. The Equalizer will be equalizing. Yes, you will be equalizing. You know what I mean? That's we will exactly be right. meting some more justice. It's going to be cool. Yeah. Uh, we get into some sticky situations uh, uh, on this one. When we come back, um, there will be some tension amongst the friends, the group of friends. Ooh. You know, my, my co-worker buddies. Um, there's going to be some issues with the family, you know, with uh, me, my daughter, and, and uh, you know, uh, Leia, who plays my daughter, She's and Aunt Vi, you know, Lorraine Toussaint, and, um, of it, course, you know, Tori Kittles with his uh, handsome self, you know, Dante. Yeah, he knows you know how, know how to do I mean? it, right? You know, he knows how to do a little uh, something. You I know? like that you film it here. You know? Yeah, we shoot right here. In New York, New Jersey? Is it, yeah. Is it weird, yeah? It is. I feel like whoever did the locations read our bio or something. Me and Shaquem were like, what? we literally shot in my high school. Like, we looked at the call sheet and was like, this is Irvington High School. 
So we shot in the parking lot. We're at the high school where I went to high school, Come where on. my mother taught, where I shot Latifah's had it up to here video. I mean, it is weird. Wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> you... We're in Brooklyn in places where I should never be again. Yeah. <laughs> But you did were... that. Yeah. You know what I mean? No need to do it again. You did that, um, yeah. Do you feel like someone like up there is like, is someone up there is loving you? I intent, really like... honestly have, and it's, it's, it kind of gave me a little bit of a, you know, it was like a constellation. I was just following the stars for the first two seasons, and, um, and here we are. So thank you so much for your support and watching the show. It's great. I love it. Yeah, man. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Queen Latifah in a new episode of The Equalizer. Take a look at this. This doesn't feel like a case. No, actually, it's about Mel. She's been trained in Delilah in self-defense, although expressly forbade. Ouch. Should have put a shot of whiskey in that coffee. I mean, she's my best friend. Hell, she's like my sister, but the fact that she would go behind my back like that. Feels like a betrayal. And I'm trying to move past it. So you're willing to throw that kind of friendship away because of one mistake? It's not a mistake. It's my daughter. No doubt. You know, a wise woman once told me that the only person you hurt by holding a grudge is yourself. I was talking about your father. That's different. Come on, Queen Latifah, Ooh. that's what I'm talking about. Ooh. The Equalizer is back Sundays at 8 p.m. on CBS, streaming on Paramount Plus, and all episodes of Unity in the Community are available exclusively on Audible. Queen Latifah and I are doing the Whisper Challenge after the break. We'll figure out. You ready? Hey, hey.